Hello and welcome to Congratulations, your twit, the video series where I compile insulting levels of incompetence and present them for your betterment or enjoyment. Today we have the shortest game of World of Tanks ever, shocking entitlement and mountain climbing. So hit the like and subscribe buttons and let's get started. Welcome, good day, welcome to the first of many uncountable travesties destined to grace our proverbial ship with their ambient disdain. Ding Blaticus is our purveyor by lexical plight. Today we're going to see what he's brought us. We're on Erlenberg, a map long held accountable for the unfortunate yet inevitable deaths of an immeasurable number of fighters, noblemen and fools alike. 2000 W and or 20 seems a dismal difference when staring up at the perilous undulations from below the deceptively calm waters. That said, those same people may find their hearts aloft with delight to hear that there are some drastic changes coming to this map sooner rather than later. Cannot come too soon for me, I'll tell you that much. Now, showing you an Erlenberg game where no one drowns as the flagship game from the series entitled Congratulations You Are Twit somehow doesn't sit right deep down with me. But I do hope you all take comfort in the fact that it's not because people have wisened up and simply don't drive their tanks with hopelessly misguided ambition anymore. No, 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 no. It's because in this game, no one had the goddamn time. Because with 1 minute and 27 seconds of the battle played, this game was over. The abrupt, untimely, uncanny end was unceremoniously accompanied by messages like, well, this was easy, and hard match, GG. Uh, yes, it was easy, and a certain proportion of the blame probably does make its bed in the lodgings of the enemy team's Himmelsdorf apartment. However, there's not a force on this earth that would convince me that capping a game with 1 minute and 27 seconds played is going to be a good result for anyone. It would not surprise me in the slightest if the vast majority of their teammates were justifiably more pissed off than the enemy because for their first win of the day, no one in that entire match received more than 250 XP doubled. The total damage exchanged in that entire game was 141, which came from one shot from the SDRV. In fact, nine of the enemy team received literally nothing I would have thrown myself before a Jagdpanzer E100 before I capped that game out. You know why? Because, and hear me here, capping is worth nothing. I mean, you can see here, th this guy put one, sh one shot at tier 6 into an enemy tank and got more XP than all of the cappers. Now, capping, oh, my apologies, capping should be used as a tool to secure an uncertain win. Not an instigator of the biggest waste of time in World of Tanks. In the vast majority of circumstances, you will get more XP from putting one or two more shots into enemy tanks than you are ever going to get from capping a base. Now, personally, I have thrown away perfectly easy wins before so that everyone Everyone could get a bit more XP from the battle and didn't have to sit there lamenting their first win of the day. But I don't wanna! I want people to get XP out of the game! God But sake. then don't! Let's go nah, get the 54 mod on! I Even you and your freaking good Samaritan stuff, get on the cap! No! If, if we win like this, no one's gonna get any XP. They get more XP by losing the game and shooting the enemy tanks. I ain't capping it. Screw Let's it. go. You want a better statistic than W and H to judge a player? How about the ratio between base capture and defense points? Now, why is this? These are my stats, by the way. Why is this good? 
If a player has more base defense points than capture points, you can generally assume that they have more enthusiasm and knowledge about the game. They're not going to sit on their ass in the cap circle content with ending it like that when they why, or their team can still kill the enemy tanks. There are a few things, few things more disturbing to me than a result something like this. You know, of the two that sprang hastily to mind, one is the time where my mother invited me in, mistaking me for my father, and I saw... And the other, the the other, is a dream I had in which I was taken by surprise by Jingles wearing nothing but a negligee and ice skates, and then the same nauseating belch of subconscious brain flagellation. He also spanked me repeatedly with a whip shaped like an M3 Lee. Also, I managed to put on my phone bill by several hundred pounds, making long-distance phone calls to his girlfriend, who sounded startlingly like a poo from The Simpsons. All this culminates in an entirely unnerving realisation that I don't in fact ever remember waking up from, said John Yim. I'm almost 100% certain I would not willingly get a tattoo of an M3 Lee on my left but Oh my god. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Have mercy, sulky voiced Englishman! I wasn't planning to include this. I had the game plan. The skeleton script for this video perfectly planned out. Until last night, when, during a period of asinine self depreciation, I started flicking through my videos in the future or hope of boosting my self esteem in the comments. I stumbled upon this, and it was like a man dying of thirst watching a tiny stream slowly spread and swell into a roaring river full of untapped potential. I'm referring to a comment on my video, congratulations to your dick number four. I'm referring to this replay, where the ISU team kills John Chu for no conceivable reason. And here's the comment. Now, warning, this is a comment dripping. Riddled, saturated with such an inconceivable level of privilege and entitlement that it really should only be read by royalty. I'm just the crap wolf! Get the hell out of there! Honest gaming, you are the dick! As if you've never had bad. Days while gaming, those, those assholes should be banned forever from the game. They started all. Some people just do not respect the nature of the game they are playing and keep having fun by trolling others. To all trolls, I am Flatform, close friend of Mr. ISU, who can tell when someone is an asshole and kicks his ass. <laughs> uh. Just, just quickly, really important. <clears throat> if it, they are capital D, capital I. Now then, I will save my comments until we see how this conversation unfolded. In response, I said, Your statement is so incredibly asinine and so obviously a troll or attempt for attention that I literally don't care to even have a debate with you. That is all. To which she responded, Are you nuts? I am just asking for a proper conversation. You really misunderstood my intentions and I cannot tell why. I had no statement, just asked for a written storyline that is logical as you support the ISU was totally wrong. If you want to defend your published argument that humiliates a player you do not know, do it by exposing the sequence of facts. 
Otherwise, you do not have an argument, so please stop humiliating people, players, and asking an apology. Uh, I'm sorry, I can in all good conscience keep this up with that, because that was actually really reasonable and fair. So, I, uh, I responded in kind. Uh, you're right. Uh, I spoke in haste without thought due to the stress of another situation. My apologies. Uh, my argument is this. Uh, if anyone behaves like this, they deserve to have it seen by the world. Right? If you truly believe there's nothing wrong with it, then that shouldn't be a problem. Now, in this game, John 2, in the Tifa V4, bumped into your ISU friend on the way out of the cap circle. Your friend killed him. For no logical reason. He ruined his game. Just like that. Think that's okay? Really? Do you, do you want that to happen to you? Uh, now, I don't condone the acts of the platoon after that, even if I do find them hilarious. I, 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 don't, I don't make this series to shame or humiliate. I make it to have a laugh. To put a different spin on events that are other simply depressing and annoying. If your Mr. ISU friend is feeling humiliated by this video, it's simply because he knows he acted like an ass. Wasn't expecting to have it seen by anyone else. Well, tough luck, I'm afraid. The world's a big old mean place. If you don't want your behaviour towards public teammates to be seen by the world, you shouldn't be behaving like that in the first place. To which she said, Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Mr. Claire Walsh, don't need you for this one. Your video presentation is completely biased. The start of the incident is intentionally edited out. So you are merely ridiculing a player when you intentionally cut out the first crime. That is more than suspicious. An experienced World of Tanks player can see that Mr. ISU and myself proceeded to just play and defend our team before the other players started retaliating. Publish the whole video and let users decide instead of cutting the footage to support your argument. That said, we wait for the full video to be disclosured and discuss more on playing ethics and behaviours afterwards. Thank you for commenting. Peabody, get me a manwich! <laughs> okay, dude. Look, according to you, they started all. In your words, they st those assholes started all. And yet in your very next comment, you say, we proceeded to play before the other players started retaliating. So if they started it, how are they now retaliating? That seems odd to me, perhaps just me. His main argument here seems to be that I intentionally cut out the horrendous crime that John 2 did. That completely and utterly justified Mr. ISU shooting him up the ass 15 seconds into the game. I cut that out. Right? He wants me to publish the entire video so that people can decide. As it sounds like great content to me. Uh, I mean, hell, we all know the only reason I cut the only play up, uh, not to make a good video, no, to hide the crime. Right? Not because it would really suck if I showed one replay per video. No, no. No, I admit it! Okay, I did. I cut it out. I, I lied. I can't lie anymore. Is 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 This is what really happened. <laughs> To be clear, the reason I cut that out 
was because it didn't feckin' matter. It doesn't matter why he did it. Even if John II was sat there vehemently stating that he wanted to have intercourse with his mother, I'd port him. Move on. If he was blocking you, I'd port him. Move on. There is nothing he could do that justifies team killing him. You can understand it if he was blocking you being a like, twat. Yeah, understandable. Not justified. In the manner you suggested, there's nothing that he could have done that justified that. Nothing. But no, no, Mr. ISU can tell when someone is an asshole. That's a useful ability. It's just if it works, get him to look into a feckin' mirror. But if he's ever in with me, people, the Jedic, he's having a bloody brain aneurysm. Dude, I respect your opinion, okay? My opinion is you're wrong, and, but I do appreciate you speaking to me about and expressing your side in a constructive manner, and you have my respect for that, certainly. But, dude, your mate was a dick in that when you play. Right, here's Lynchar, an open map that somehow manages, for the most part, to be just as corridor based as Himmelsdorf. Magical design only. Um, you join in my good self. I'm willingly jumping in front of the metaphorical bus in order to bring you this last example of Tars and lunacy. I'm in the Udes, which I've been really enjoying, uh, not least because that has a speed limit forward of 70 km an hour, which, as you can see, I put to good use in this game. Now, from my uh, morally questionable perch up here, it's clear that the enemy gain a heavily advantageous position on the flank ahead of me, with my friendly tank stuck down in the low ground getting repeatedly hammered by Artie. And as a result, I managed to do 6,000 damage to the enemy tanks before the flank clears up, and I decide it's time to step down if I want to contribute further. Managed to pick up a kill on the enemy Death Star, and I start progressing further towards the enemy when a shot whisks over me and bends itself in the hill to my right. Now, that shot came from the Yak Panzer E100 on my own team. Don't bother me though, uh, I continue forward, managed to get a kill on the enemy RG. Nice. Looking at the results of that game, you think you'd be forgiven for thinking I had a great game and played really well. I didn't. I exploited an unintentional mistake in the map design, sat on top of a hill, had a game equivalent of shooting fish in a banger, and I walked away with a 6.5k damage and an ace tanker. So, while I was busy wrestling my minor objections into submission, I received a message from the Jagdpanzer E100 who had attempted to team kill me earlier. I opened it up and was greeted with, You reported. I thought, God damn it, he's suddenly doing the climb, he's pissed off, he couldn't send them when you play a war game, and I get the panties in a twist, oh, for God's sake. But I did not see the next bit coming, his stream wolves. Oh no, he's gonna send them when he plays a war game, and I might get their panties in a twist about me doing a climb that's supposed to be, oh. you know, blah blah blah. And I was like, okay, what are you reporting me for? Uh, what did he say? <laughs> and spotlight conduct. Aimbot! And I'm like. Aimbot! Yeah. Well, Mr. C, I, Mr. C, are you gonna pop a 67 or what are you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm mad shit. But that was just so funny to me. I'm like. <laughs> I, like, I did an overpower climb, I sat there for the entire game just doing 6,500 damage to the enemy as they, as they encroach from a ridiculously overpowered position and I'm using a name bot. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, guess I didn't need to be one just all Um, And with regard to the climbing, right, you can't be banned for it, nor is it an importable offence. It's not breaking any game rules. Is it morally ambiguous? Yes. Are the climbs game breaking and overpowered? Yes, a lot of them. But the climbs have become a big part of high level gameplay in World of Tanks. Top 
teams from all over the world use these climbs to gain an advantage. How in the Wargaming Grand Finals they were using these climbs? That's a pretty clear statement from Wargaming that they, they are aware of these climbs, they are aware of the fact that these climbs exist, and that people are using them, and while they may change them in the future, for now, it's only up to you whether you take advantage of them or not. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching the pilot episode of Congratulations, you're a twit. Do let me know if you want me to continue this series. And, uh, well, have a swell day. Farewell.